Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie, the strategic, tactical, or survival games to your face holes. Welcome to Little Big Workshop, which is a big workshop built on a little table, as you can see. That is literally my workshop just there. Look at it. It's so cute. So Little Big Workshop is like a management game where you are literally building a workshop. Now I'm just doing a tutorial now to show you how things work. I've played the game for several hours, and I know how it's going, but sure to show you. So, oh gosh, hello there! I just opened a new shop close to your factory. Seeing as you're new here, maybe we can help each other out. Get yourself a workbench and take a look around. I'll call again in a bit. So you put down benches, machines, and stuff to build items, but you also get to choose materials for the items. So when you're changing the materials, change how you build it and what benches and things you need. So we've got to get a woodworking station down because we're doing the good old woodworking. Let's build you there. Yes. As you can see, it drops down. This is extra noise. The mood is bad. Which means people work a little bit slower. So I've confirmed that. I've confirmed the building it. Then I place my order. We have a truck will come and deliver it. Here it comes on the edge of the table. Kind of cute. Nice relaxing music. Also you can play with certain things on the table. Not all of them, just certain things. Operator. <laughs> I don't know why I just like doing that. So yeah, once that arrives, your people arrive and then they dump it. So there's three types of workers on the game. There's obviously your actual workers, then there's delivery drivers, and there's also just your deliverers who sort of carry stuff around. Now obviously I'm going through tutorials, so it's going to be a little bit slow. Here we go. So once I built it, I should get a ring. There we go. You got yourself a workbench! You see, my stock of garden gnomes are getting pretty low. Can you make me a couple? Now, there's two types of job in the game. There's the people who are your clients, and then there's the open market, which we'll get to in a second. So, as you can see, to make gnomes, planning mode, you can design and preview how each of your products will be created. Square-shaped gnomes like these are products or parts. They can be anything from small wood planks to complex sub-assemblies. You know, so as you get more stuff, it could be the beginning materials, the intermediate, or advanced. Circle shaped nose, or these are operations. These are actually performed by your workers on different kinds of workstations. And this is your final product. So we've got it there, we're going to click it, so we're going to have it be done with this particular piece. As you can see, when you're doing it for your actual clients, it automatically gives you the amount. Obviously, if you're building for the, for the actual market, you get to choose a number. This is it, they're making gnomes. So the first thing that happens when you put the plan through, you get delivered the supplies, which you have to pay for, and your people go and work with them. Let's speed things up a little bit. Deep, deep, deep. You can see, straight in. Now I've got nowhere to put the gnomes, so I need to designate a space for them. So let's get gnomey. There we go. So gnomes and resources should get delivered to this one at the moment. Now, certainly gnomes, they're pretty easy. Literally, you take wood and you cut it. There's nothing bad about that. And once you finish them, you send them to deliver, and they get taken by your truck. <clears throat> now, we only have one delivery bay right now, so that's it. There you go. I've leveled up. I've looked at my economy. I have made some money. 2k for the... Oh, estimated material cost only 18. Pretty cheap. Pretty, pretty cheap. Let's go cool again, because he likes us. Hey again! I want to put up more items here. Can you make me some shelves? So shelves obviously more of an advanced product as you can see. And they have attributes a sec. So attributes are you need to <coughs> hit the target. Now different materials have different target specs. So this is the target. I need to have two strength and ten, what's the other one? Ten style. Now see here, if I go to this, I can't build these because I don't have access to them. But this one here gives me one, two strength and seven to eight style. That's perfect. So as you can see, now I've chosen that there. I can now have to build them. As you can see, I can go for basic wood, bright wood, or dark wood. Dark wood is better, but more expensive. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do the same for this. I don't need the most advanced stuff. You need a thing there. And I also need to see what's this. This, I can actually show what it is, but this will require me to also use this. Now as you can see... 
I have three items being done at the same station. Which is a bit of a problem. I'm going to build this because it needs it to be assembled. So those three items will get taken to this one bench and assembled. Unfortunately, all three items have to be built at the same bench. That's going to slow things down. Now, obviously, this wasn't the tutorial. I'd build a few more benches. What that means is that one worker... Oh, one of the workers collapsed and ran out of energy. So break rooms recover your people's energy. The thing is, once you put items into a room, that whole room becomes a break room and can't be used for anything else. You can't have like a coffee machine just over here. As you can see, it's just changed completely. So your people will drink coffee and it will give them extra energy. They can also like, eat food, stuff like that. They'll go to tables. But it's good to have a break room for your peasants. As you can see. But the thing we have here is place more items to get increased break room regeneration. Let's have a table. That room is now completely useless to us because we can't do anything else. So it's just a break room. Now the problem we have here, as you can see, is going through bits at a time. So we have two of these before we even get to this. And we can't assemble anything until we have all of the items. So a bit of an issue there. Because obviously we're storing lots of parts and we have to wait till everything is done. So it's going to take a little while as you can see. So obviously as you get more advanced you want to have multiple different benches and things doing all of this. It can actually spread the production around. Oh, my first shelf. Perfect. So yeah, I'd obviously start building more of these. But yeah, this is how the game goes. Now, this is literally basic. There's like... The three more tabs of items you can do. Obviously, the vehicles and machinery and equipment starts getting more and more advanced. Okay, we'll show you the market after this. Okay, deliver the five shelves. Luckily, it's still basic stuff. It just takes a little bit of extra time. Got the supply of shelves. Gnomes and shelves. Okay, I'm set for a while. I'll get back to you later if something comes up. You should check the market. Now, it's teaching me the market. As you can see, there's basic, medium, and advanced. Those are the challenges, which are the actual missions you get from your contracts. This is a general market product, so they're required continuously, and you can use this as a stable source of income. Okay, as you can see here, the price is quite good, and there's very and there's a uh, low-ish demand for it. So I could build seven of these. It's idea is to give you a idea of what kind of product it is required. Small project size, mass production. It's plastic. This shows you the current price and demand. So there's too much of a demand, but it's a good price. This is very suitable. It's got a low demand average price. It requires plastic. So obviously I'd want to build a lot of them. I'd like the price to be higher, but I don't want to build a lot of them. So seven isn't really much. And also we don't have anything which is just plastic yet. Now the Doggo House has good demand and a high price. Obviously you want the demand to be quite high so you can sell a lot of them. Okay, so we're going to plan the product. Now the thing with this is, it requires me, let's see, two to four, that's pretty simple. It requires me to use even more work stuff, as you can see. Let's also do it to here. So that's basic wood, so it's going to require two of those, so it should be easy to make. But in reality, I'd rather have two benches doing this. I need seven, I'd rather have more. So I'd really like to have a second one of these. But it won't let me build it just yet, because again, tutorial. Now you can also build a billboard, which you have to research, it's over here, which you haven't unlocked yet. And a billboard allows you to group up tables of the same type. Instead of just having seven assigned to, say, one bench, I can have seven assigned to two benches, like one's doing three, one's doing four, stuff like that. Which means things get built faster, but again, it still means it's only being built for one product at a time. So you have to start getting fiddly and tactical with it. But like I say, I'd like at least another bench. Inspect your right... So you see there? You know it's going to take a lot of time. Okay, it's going to teach you to build another one. I don't need to build another assembly station, but it's just like... I'd rather build a workbench. Okay, inspect your thing by clicking on it. So you can split the things into... Like that. And then you can transfer it to the other one. You'll see to hire more workers. So here we go. You can hire one more operator. There we go. And that's the other, the other one. We take delivery or whatever. So we've got three operators. But as you can see, there's a lot more things. You can actually level up your people as time goes by. Now, I don't really need two of these. I'd rather, like, build another one of these. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh. 
It's a disaster! The names you made for me has already sold out! I need more! So, do the plan, that's fine. I'm going to execute the plan. Now, you can also prioritise it high in the list. Which means it gets put to the top and gets built first. Now, if you have huge amounts of stations, obviously you can have multiple products being built at once. But we only have one woodworking station, so that's prioritised significantly higher. Luckily, it's easier, but it does mean the doggo houses are going to have to wait. But yeah, if things start getting more and more advanced, you can actually build more rooms. You can actually expand your base by upgrading it when you actually get unlockables in your... Where is it? This one? In your research and development, which you get more points by levelling up. But obviously right now, we're a small fish in a very small table. Now, I don't think you can advance outside of the table, so this is the amount of space you've got. Ooh, chocolate. Nom, nom, nom. But there you are. There we go, going to deliver the gnomes. Now, obviously, you want to have more deliveries and things done, because that's where you're making all your money. So you are hoping... Oh, good. So we're going to do this. As you can see, he is an acquaintance now. There's multiple different people here, but we haven't met them yet. That's fine. But yeah, we want to complete both projects, open the market, sell the resources. Now, obviously, we want to keep on building stuff like this, because it gives us lots of supplies. But as time goes by, as you can see, you have to repair your station, which takes it completely out of action. 100% efficiency, 75% efficiency, 10% efficiency. So you want to repair things pretty quickly. There we go. Please don't fall on the floor. Go eat. You also see here, it only has three buttons. Um, that's only how many people can actually drink from it before it has to recharge. It recharges over time. But if you have, say, six people and only one of these, you're going to have a very bad time. Because, of course, you can't give them all that. That says here, I've graduated from the in-game tutorial. Yay, I've learned it. Also, my factory's called the box office because I wanted to bring the hits. Deliver more than 100 products, complete these three client challenges, and execute a plan with a billboard. As you can see, billboards will do things. So we... Ooh. I'm going to put down another woodworking station... I'm also going to do that. Let's have a look. So I'd like to build uh, shelves. It's got a good amount of supply. Price is going down. Chairs. The price has gone down. Rubber ducks are plastic. Which will require lots of metal. But as you can see, different items appear over time. Like snowboards, definitely not. Video games. The Segando 12-bit. Ooh, the 12-bit system. But most of this is plastic and metal. We don't have metal. Could build a load of these, I guess, but... I don't think it'd actually be that good and expensive. Let's have a look. Uh, Requires four things. Oof. Let's see. That should be okay. So let's have a look if we can actually do this. So I'd like that to be there, which is sewing. We don't have access to sewing yet. I don't want to build a sewing bench. Paint station, injection press. We can do to do metal. We need a forge and a metal working station. We don't really have space for them. I mean, I guess we could. If we build a forge, why not? We'll start doing metal. Hello. Hello. Which means we we'll also need a metal working station there. Okay, so let's let's do it then. Give me which one's the most. Okay, that's got a good demand and price. Let's do this one. So I'd like us to have. Can't do this. You do this. So now this is basically entirely metal. This is entirely metal. So we're literally forging both of those and assembling it over here. And give me 10 of these. So this, obviously, is something we can easily just do. Give me 20. And it's entirely using the metal thing. So we're not even using any of the woodworking benches. It also means I need another one of these. So obviously, I'd quite like to actually have more of this stuff being built faster. I don't have any space anymore. I don't have any space at all. 
guess I could build it there. Well, obviously, the more things you build, the more money you're spending. So you won't actually have products being made. Let's transfer you to that one. Obviously, the more things you use as well, the more damage stuff's going to take. So you have to start repairing things. And we're making pure metal rakes. All the woodworking stuff you set up is just useless now. So the market we should reset in a day or two. Yeah, 31 hours, that's good. We can make some more of these, that should give us some money. And this is the game! Obviously things get more and more advanced as time goes by, and I'm really excited to see how this goes. I really am. It's one of the games that I have been waiting for. The art style is pretty cute. Pretty basic, but very, very cute. I love how it's literally a tiny little factory. Like, there's a carpet, there's chairs, there's a massive telephone. It feels like you have, you're playing with toys. But it's just so nice. Now, I can sell these supplies anytime. The grass agitator. Obstruction causes workshop causes workers to go slower. As you can see, this is showing me that it's fine to go walk around here. You need to use it at times because you can block off areas. Minus 36, minus 5. As you can see, I need a lot more coffee. 14 a day is needed, apparently. But yeah, this is the game. So let's... Okay, how are we doing? Why aren't you doing anything? Why do I hate you so much? Oh, I see. Okay, let's split and move this four to here. So obviously you can move like storage and stuff closer. You can do all sorts of things like that as well. It's just going to take time. And then when we sell them, we will have all the money. Or at least a bit of money. Because obviously we just keep on building things. This would be better because it has wood in it. I think the grass agitator would be a good start. Okay, I'm going to have to sell these before it runs out, just in case. That's 2,000. There we go. So now I actually have... This section is used to upgrade and improve your factory. To upgrade may cost varying amounts of upgrade points. These are my living contracts or by completing challenges. And milestones. Okay. This here will give me eco-friendly materials. This will allow me to build new rooms. This will allow me to use better woodworking. This will allow me to actually do better storage. Special zones. Export and workstation zones. This will allow me to actually put billboards down. Now I'm going to actually just build more rooms. Because I feel like we need that. So I'm going to do this to here. Actually building rooms is very simple. If I get it right. And I only need to put... Oh, there's no space. I'm going to move you to here. Thank you. Put a door here. So you now have another room over here for 2k. I mean, you actually have to keep on building things. So I need... I'll deliver those. The price is going down a little bit. As you can see, workers are here to build the floor. I quite like how they do that. You can decorate rooms and stuff like that. We're just not smart enough to do too much with it. That's still quite a high demand for these. Okay, build me another Trenta. And move you guys to the other one. Oh wait, I actually did that wrong, didn't I? Yes. I actually did that wrong. Because I should be at two different uh, things. So there we go. This is it. Obviously we can build more advanced things. We have, we have chairs which have crashed. Oof. Back scratches are quite important right now. Blend the product. So you are wooden back scratchers. I can actually use wood for a change. You're going to go to that one. And then you're going to go to that one. So you're going to go that one. You're going to go that one. You're going to have to stay at the same one. And then we get done here. And there we go. We now have back scratches. If you double click on a node, you'll also select the nodes leading up. All nodes leading up to it. Really? Oh, yeah. So we're going to have 20 of these made. So this is going to be made on the two benches. 
just means I need another worker. Just means I need more break room stuff, just in case. Which means I'm spending even more money. Okay, so we now have lots of stuff being done here. We have lots of workers and people doing things. Which means we have to start selling something. Because we have a lot of work going on, guys. Oh, look at them all happy and working together. That means like five or six things are being done right now. Right, here's another worker. Look at this go. So this over here, obviously, they can't... Why aren't they doing anything? Is this because everyone's working over here? Ah, it is because everyone's working over here. Now, we also probably need to move this area over here so it's actually being done properly because, let's face it, they've got a bit of a journey ahead of them. So moving their own special storage area might be good for that. So they build something, then they build the next stuff. Maybe another set of woodworking would be good. But it's all about that, slowly expanding and building to what you think is needed each and every time. Which obviously means basic items sometimes have massive amounts of construction and workers on them. Now you can only upgrade to about 100 people I think, let me have a look. You can only have 100 people working here. You can actually have volunteer workers and stuff like that, but yeah, there isn't too much in the way of research. And obviously you can do all sorts of things, there's only like three levels of products. And obviously, I need to get the bronze and the silver milestone for those, which isn't too hard to do. The bronze, it's literally just do Factory 5, it's just play the game. Now, I don't know how fast and tough the, the next ones are, but yes. Because I can't remember, we'll have to go check my save. Okay, open the market, sell these. Oh, I delivered, I need to get even more points, which means I can now, if I want to, I'm going to go and grab the billboards and the zones. Workstation input zone, export zone. Yeah, I think I need more woodworking stations, but I haven't quite got the amount of money to do that. And my people are working till they fall asleep. And obviously you've got to keep an eye on things, make sure they don't need repairing as well. Because again, that is a problem. So when things aren't being used, obviously repair them. We have access now to billboards. Billboards, of course, like I say, can link... So I put a billboard down, I can link, say, two of these, three of these, four of these together. And I can assign one job to all of them. So it spreads out the work. And that is obviously good for certain situations. I wish I could make these better. Okay, that's still quite good. This is going up. Let's plan a product. No, use the grass agitators. I use the things I'm making. Let's make more. Make me more agitators. We will agitate the world. One, two, three, four, five, six. We probably need another person. As you can see, it's already getting pretty insane. Now, I can only have ten people at my current level to break through bronze. But yeah, we have six people now working for us. A basic level. Really, it's kind of cute watching them work together. The noises are pretty cute. Now, like I say, I don't know how much there is in the game. And like I say, I know you can expand to pretty big factories, have 100 people working for you. And you can add more and more things to do. It just looks really cute. It really is a lovely little management game. Oh, look at them. Workers clap for exhaustion. Yep. I know. They're a little... Oh, they've drank everything. Oh, that was expensive. Truckers are right loading bay. Good. Get me more coffee. This is the problem with not having too much coffee. Oh, that's starting to take damage. Repair it. Also repair that one as well while you're at it. Let's send off some of these. 200. Yeah, deliver 10 of those. Now, obviously, I need to get more of them, but we're getting there. Early level. What's this again? Better woodworking. Basic machines are four times faster than workbenches. Really? Bending machine, circle saw. Turn big woods into a little piece. Okay. Obviously, that's more advanced. Greetings, I represent Sweekia and the Global Furniture Union, another subcontractor. Yes. 
Those are to make shells. I will accept your shells. Okay, so now we need to sort this out. So I need this. Okay, you get cut there. You get cut there. And there, why not? And done there. I execute. I need to make you more important because that's a new contractor. New worlds, new things. But yeah, I actually recommend getting this game. It's out now. Very fun. He wants sandbox kits. Ah, oh, Steve, why? Look at these shelves are pretty easy to do. And we're still making the metal stuff as well because obviously it's metal. Okay, people are having drinks and sitting down. It's going well. Obviously, I've sped things up so I can actually see what's going on, but yeah. Oh, we are really filling this up. So what's actually in our machinery? Let's actually have a look. So this is a lathe. At flip 90 degrees, that bends things. Band surface for sawing, way quicker than doing things by hand. So as you can see, it shows you what the actual stats are. Anything involving the more circular kind of cuts, 100%. Straight cuts, it's only 50%. So you need to build things the right stuff. So it's like 100% straight. That's like a circle saw and a band saw. Now, if I remember correctly for the back scratcher, that requires straight cuts. See, circular cuts. And obviously that's just... I can't remember, maybe that's actually called. What is that called? That would be the milling. So obviously the heavy duty machine. Which is a little bit bigger. So I can really start doing this stuff by hand. Let's actually have... Oh, 3k. I'm poor. I'm very poor. Let's send two of these out for a bit more money. And obviously the more I send out on their own the greater the price drops. So you don't really want to just send one or two out, because that would kind of ruin the point. But I kind of need the money. We're getting kind of poor. And luckily, we do have a lot of stuff going on, but yeah, we need to work on these. So let's see. How would you be done? So how are shelves made? Small shelves are uh, straight cuts, straight cuts. Don't think I've got one of those. Okay, so you need a straight cut machine. I'm going to get one of those next. I'm going to start expanding and growing things, but yes. This game is cute, adorable, very fun. I don't know how much time you'll sink into it. But I know I'll be sinking at least 10 to 15 hours into the game. And I think that's worth it to me. Guys, shelves, faster. Flip. To there. How are you doing, the shelves? Shell support C. We're getting there. Me, 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 ha, me, me, me. Let's move you guys to there. Come on. There we go. Bit faster. Bit faster, guys. Come on. Build for me the most epic of all shelves. I can't help you, other guy. I've not got any plastic down currently. This is faster. Yeah, as you can see, your people require a lot more stuff, so you need to make the break room nicer. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to get back on track fast. That means spending even more money we don't have. As you can see, money's becoming a bit of an issue now. But the more things you have in your break room, the faster they come back off break. But we just don't have the money to do it. We need these shelves to sell. So I can count on making... Oh, let's sell all of these. There we go. Suddenly all the back grass agitators. The grass scratches. Oh, that needs to be repaired. You can see you can move things around. It's okay. Come on. Give me the shelves. I'll end on the shelves. Make this new person like us. We've still got two days left. I think it's because we haven't got too much space here. Why are they not making the final shelves? Is there only on one? Oh, the final shelf! Deliver! And we've done it! And we've made all the money! So I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been... 
little big workshop. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see each and every one of you guys in the next one. Remember, this is Who's That Indie? Bringing strategic, tactical, survival indie games straight to your face holes. Ciao for now, people. Ooh, that was expensive. That was very expensive. Oof. Bye-bye. Maybe we should build some of these.